picture of the old building and everything. And fish number four, yeah. And the, the ceilings fell down and the walls started crumbling. And you see some pictures over there. So this is for the kids. Kids, can you see what is old and what is new? Or what looks new and what is original? Yeah. Over there, there would be a wall along here, and that would be the coal larder. And there'd be hooks up there. We've had to cover all this up because of fire regulation. Um, so you hooks like that, and they'd hang their meat. Fish or any game there, haven't they? He says, this is, he said, this is the, um, the challenge to be a British Muslim leader. Because everyone will be sitting around, and, and mainly he said, our main sandwiches that he said were well, cheese. He said, I've been cheese and tomato, cheese and cucumber. Of course, good traditional British sandwiches. And uh, he said, okay. And just walk straight through, right the way through. And I'll have a little talk about it for a few minutes. Okay. about <laughs> being mindful and grateful for everything else. Um, so the marble comes from Italy, high-grade Italy, uh, high-grade Italian marble, and then the mosaics have been made for us from India. And then everything else has been crafted by local tradesmen, um, and the timber and everything else, all this has been supplied from Ormskirk. <laughs> so fairly local. <laughs> So we've got one community that um, Williams. Yes. He wishes. He wishes. I'm going to start a school for Muslims. Um, he, in order to kind of, in a sense, what's the saying? Put your something where you're. Put your mouth where you are. He put his own children here first. Mm. So he brought his own children out of um, schools. And if you think some of those children were very bright, I know um, his eldest had got, was going to the institute. He himself had gone for this. And, you know, um, and I, I, I really like this this particular space. I think mean, it's a beautiful space. Um, uh oh, who set the alarms up? Who <laughs> eventually make into a? This will be the, the main museum gallery, um, in which we will keep the artifacts and the history <coughs> of Liverpool Muslims. All the photographs will be down here, and I'm now working with two curators. Um, wonderful, we got a new Muslim curator, yes. because this is almost certainly the first space used by Muslims for prayer, where the Adhan or Azan was called publicly. Um, and of course, even today, many mosques won't do that. You know, to actually call it out to the street. Um, they'll do it inside the mosque space. So from this window, um, the caretaker, the first British um, caller of, of the prayer was a gentleman called Mr. Radford. He was the caretaker. He was quite an elderly gentleman. He lived in the room upstairs. And he would come down with his his Victorian clothes. He had a magnificent whiskers and beard, and he would put his fez on his head, and he would call the prayer from here. So, and of course, opposite here, you, you would have had some quite gentrified houses. A lot of the houses in this area are quite wealthy people in those days. There were houses like this. Not everybody liked it. Long like for long like for. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Ashhadu an la
أشهد أن محمد رسول الله